Hi there, I'm Kerry Decker, and I've got a special program for you today. We are going to be going out to Cape Canaveral, Florida, and we are going to be recording the nighttime liftoff of Discovery, STS-128. But it's going to be a little bit different this time. We're going to be using a still camera, the Nikon D90, to shoot video. Stick around, and I'm going to show you how. Hi there, this is Kerry Decker again, and like I said, we've got a special program for you right now because we're going to be going out, actually going over to the Cape and uh, shooting one of the final nighttime launches of uh, the Discovery Space Shuttle. I think you're going to enjoy it, but I'm going to be doing it a different way this time. We're going to be shooting video using a still camera. That's right. Now, I have to tell you, you know, uh, there are a lot of uh, different cameras on the market. Uh, this is the uh, Nikon D90, and this is uh, one of the point-and-shoot uh, Canon models, the G9, which I've had for a few years. And uh, each of these have a video mode on it. And I have to tell you, I wouldn't buy a still camera to shoot videos, just like I wouldn't take a video camera to shoot stills. But occasionally, you know, you may be out somewhere and you may need just a, a shot or two of one or the other, and uh, it certainly is very handy to be able to do that. So uh, let me show you real quickly on a simple uh, point-and-shoot camera uh, what you should do to get it set up in order to shoot video, because it's very simple to do. Okay, you'll notice on the top of our camera, the Canon G9 in this case, here is the normal position for uh, taking your standard still pictures in the automatic mode. And all I'm going to do is move this around. So now it has like a little movie camera. Sometimes it'll show something like movie reels or something like that, but that's the mode that you're going to want to use when you go to shoot video using your still camera. Okay, but the main focus of tonight's program Oh, sorry about that pun, is uh, we're going to be using the Nikon D90 uh, digital camera to shoot video. And uh, I believe this is one of the first Nikon uh, DSLR cameras that has the video capability. And uh, actually, it's come in handy because, uh, you know, if you need something in a hurry and you just want to shoot a little bit of video, it puts it right onto the SD card. And it shoots in the AVI format, so it's very simple to uh, trans uh, transfer over to one of your video programs. Now, what I've done tonight is I have uh, taken off the standard kit lens, which is on there, and I have put on an 80 to 200 zoom lens which will reach out and uh, bring us in a little bit closer. And uh, what I plan on doing is setting the lens at the widest angle, 80 millimeter, to kind of get an overall view of the shot that we're going to be taking. And then as the, uh, the rocket lifts off, then we'll slowly uh, zoom in and uh, close in on the rocket itself. Now, Nikon, a tremendously automated camera, does probably more than I can <laughs> then I know how to work. But on the other hand, uh, when it's shooting video, we lose some of the features. Uh, for instance, we lose focus, or automatic focus, and we have to focus the camera manually. It's because the mirror goes up, the sensors are in there for focusing, so we lose that. So it's very important that we switch the camera to manual focus when we go to do it. Okay, let me go over it, because this one is actually much simpler to shoot video on than my Canon camera. So uh, let, me, let me show you what we have to do to set this camera up for video. Okay, now with the Nikon D90, as I said, you have to be careful. You have to take your camera off of automatic and flip this little switch to the M position or manual. Also, your focusing becomes manual when shooting with a D90 camera in the video position. So here is my focusing ring, so I'm going to have to turn that and look at the live view picture on the back of my 3-inch screen to get precise focusing. Okay, we're on the back of the camera now, and all the only two controls, it's great, we have to worry about is switching on the live view and the OK button. So we're going to switch on the live view, 
There we go. Now, once again, I know we can't see what's going on. It takes a single exposure. You can't do all the fancy effects or anything. This is it. And when you're ready to shoot video, you're going to press OK. And once again, down on the bottom, it tells you how much time you have left uh, on your card so you know how long you have to shoot video. And when you're ready to go, you just touch OK, and you are shooting video. OK. So it's not that hard, really. <laughs> simpler, as I said, than it is in many point-and-shoot cameras available. Okay, well, all right, we're getting down there, and uh, we've got some uh, pictures uh, coming from the Cape. Luckily, here in Orlando, we have what's called the NASA Channel, so I can see what's uh, going on there directly uh, over at the Cape. And like I said, we are going to be right there on the beach uh, tonight to uh, watch the launch uh, at around midnight. Now, I've got some notes here about the uh, latest STS. 128 and uh, actually uh, STS-134 is going to be the final launch of uh, the Space Shuttle series. So we've only got about six more to go. So we're going to be taking this out to the beach as uh, the Space Shuttle is just about ready to be flying. So um, I think you're going to enjoy it. And remember, the video you're going to be watching is going to be an AVI and it's going to be in high def, which is something my Nikon does, but my older Canon doesn't. And uh, we're going to be all set and you'll be watching the video direct off my SD card. Okay. All right. This is exciting. Here we go. Oh, okay, that was it. The spectacular night launch of Discovery, shot with a Nikon D90 still camera. This is Kerry Decker, thanking you for your time this time. Until next time, we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye now.